In this lesson, we will configure a one-dimensional consolidation test using the HMTS Next software. It is assumed that the sensor calibrations have already been imported from the consolidation machine into the Next testing software. The PC and consolidation machine are connected through the company's local access network, and for purposes of clarity, we will assume that this is a new test. To create a new test, open the Programs menu on the Windows desktop and open the HMTS Next folder. Then, select the Next Consolidation Test Module. When the Next Test Initialization window opens, select New Test. You will be prompted to select a location to save the test. For our purposes, we will choose to save the test on our desktop. There are three sections that must be addressed in order to run the test from the next software. Specimen information, loading sequence, and test setup. To start off, let's open the specimen information window and scroll down until the height diameter worksheet button is displayed. Once there, click on the height diameter worksheet button and enter the appropriate sample dimensions for this test. When complete, select OK, and then select Save. The next step is to choose the desired load sequence to use. In this case, we will choose a previously saved load sequence to import into the test. Open the Load Sequence Editor menu and click the Choose Sequence button to access the load sequences stored within the next library. Once the desired load sequence has been selected, click the Select button, then click on the Save Changes button. Finally, click on the Done button to complete the load sequence selection step for this test. The third step is establishing the test setup parameters. Open the test setup window and find the appropriate testing device under the test inputs tab. Left click and hold the desired displacement sensor. Then drag and drop it into the displacement input. By default, the load input will be incorporated as well. Next, select the logging tab. By default, the ASTM logging standards are loaded. If changes to the logging table are required, the Table Values Worksheet button can be selected and the desired entries can be loaded into the logging table. Next, select the Test Trigger tab. Under normal circumstances, nothing will be required in this window as they are set by the software. Moving on to the Stop tab, select the Stop condition. If time delay is selected, choose the amount of time desired for each load sequence. By default, it is 24 hours for each load sequence. However, the values can be adjusted as required by clicking on the Time window. There is a default seating load built into the test setup that includes both duration and load. However, both values can be altered to meet the tester's requirements. Finally, select the Loading Automation tab. From here, data point logging, test automation, and extended stop conditions can be selected. Once all the test parameters have been filled, select either OK to save the test data or select Run to begin the consolidation test.